As we start with a little road construction, this actually continues right off the last episode, except I vaguely remember doing this. Oh, that's right. I put these extra parking spots in, and that looks awful. <laughs> uh, the bus stop's working, at least. That's, that's a good thing. A few people over there, one over here. I may actually need another bus stop now that I'm looking at it. Uh, let me slow down for just a moment here. Just so I can kind of watch as the buses roll in. Alright, where are you buses? Where are ya? There they are. There goes that one. So that one just came and picked up some peeps. And then you're going to come around over here and pick up some peeps and drop some more peeps off. Um. I think that's working okay. I don't, I don't think I need more buses. I, I'm going to, or more bus stops. Um. I don't know. That's a lot of people lining up. I might need another bus stop. Anyway, now that that's all done, I did a little testing while I was away on my own time doing stuff. And for good or for ill, we're going to try something a little different today that's going to involve building in a giant space. Now, I've kind of done this sort of thing before, if I remember correctly, but we haven't really done it over here yet. I mean, aside from these random things I just placed over here. Uh, nope, we're actually going to pop an order counter in, and I'm going to put this guy over on this wall, I think. Maybe about... somewhere about right there. You know what? Before we do that, I'm going to put the fast food warmer. Those don't rotate. Oh, that's right. They sure don't. That means I'm not going to build that direction. I think I did this last time. I have a vague memory of going, ah, crap, these don't rotate. That means I cannot build them in the direction I want to build things. Ah, oh, well. What can you do? Um... Well, in that case, I'm going to end up building over here then, I think, because, uh, wow, this, this is some crap right here. This really is. This is a terrible layout. Who's the architect on this mess? They should be fired. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like, super fired. This is terrible. Let's put one over here. Let's do three of them. I don't know that I need three of them. I don't really care. I'm going to say let's do three of them. Kind of tempted to put this over here because it doesn't actually matter where it goes. I don't believe. It's kind of hilarious. Order counters. All right. Well, they're going to be one, two, three, and four. And then what we're going to end up doing is putting some seating, not, not spectator seats. That would be awkward. Uh, we're going to put these guys over here-ish, I guess. Maybe on this side. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just kind of fill up some seating over here. That looks fantastic. And then we'll do this and this and this. And a couple more of these. One, two, three. And some more uh, here. How about some restaurant tables? We'll do something like that. Perfect. And we'll do one more of those to just kind of wrap everything in place. Put a fast food soda type dispensary thingy majigger over here, which doesn't rotate as well. And we'll just leave that one right at the end of the counter. That's going to be perfect. The only thing we need is something to cook on. Uh, those can go any direction. That's kind of cool. And you know what? I am absolutely going to leave it like this. I'm not going to box it in, believe it or not. I'm not going to put walls in place. Nope. It's going to be just fine the way it is. I'm actually thinking what I want to do is get rid of that. And then where's that soda dispenser? Uh, maybe we'll put that guy right there. Yeah. I want to make everyone work right out in the open and see what this does. So as I was kind of saying, I did a little testing on my own time. And for whatever reason, I, and I, I didn't use this exact setup, but for whatever reason... Everything worked fine. I was able to get my fast food restaurant working just fine. Uh, question here. And I don't have the answer to this. Do I need to declare this space over here where there are seats as part of the restaurant? I feel like I do. But I don't know if that's actually accurate. I mean, I kind of feel like I should just include all of this space over here where they're actually going to line up. Something about, about like that. Is that about right? 
perfect. Um, I guess I, I don't honestly know. We're going to use that one as storage because it has room. We're going to hire some cashiers, so we're going to hire uh, Adam. We'll hire... Ooh, wow, you're pretty awesome there, Darren. And we'll hire... Uh, I think we're going to be starting off with maybe four cashiers. You're fast. You're not very friendly. I don't really care. Let's hire some cooks. I don't even know how many we need. Uh, you're a good cook. You're a pretty good cook. And we're going to need some stock clerks. I think we'll be fine with two. Don't really need a whole bunch of them. Uh, sure, I guess. And uh, I'm just kind of going by who's... Oh, you're terrible. I want you to stay fired. I'm just kind of going by uh, who's... Not even who's fast. I'm just going to go with that. Okay, perfect. So let's look at our cashiers. And we're going to do... Um, what do we have for time on this? Open at 9. Close at... Uh, 11, maybe? Sure. That does seem to work. Kind of want to go earlier than that, actually. Um, whatever. So we'll have you come in right about there. You're going to come in at 2 o'clock-ish. Is that right? 2, yeah, you'll end up leaving early. That's fine. Let's, let's, no. Yeah, I, I can't have that. Cat, what you doing? 13, 1, 9. No, you're not going to stay long enough. 2, 10, nope. Wait a minute. Hold on. What, what time did I set to close? Closing hour, 2300. That would be 11. Cat? No. What you, what you doing there? Why am, I, why am I confused now? If you come in at 2 o'clock, 8 hours is 10. So, why, why does it look like you're extending way out beyond where you should? I... Whatever. Oh, I, I don't know. Apparently my brain is not working. It cannot do math or something. Uh, have you start at 9? Have you start at whatever? I'm just going to go by the grid. I still don't think that's actually right. But what do I know? Stock clerk will do the same thing. Basically, we have a morning shift and an afternoon slash evening shift. There you go. That's the fast food restaurant. Everything is all in place. Um... Uh-oh. I, I broke that crap. Did I? There we go. Let me make sure I, I didn't unbreak things or something. I think I'm okay now. Everyone? Everyone's hired. Okay, good. We'll see how, how this goes. Because <laughs> I just invested a lot of money into this project. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm a super unhappy camper. I kind of want to go back to an idea I had some time back. So I'm going to go ahead and start on that right now. And we're going to change this to walls. And we'll do something like that. And then we'll go back to our objectives. Not objectives, just objects. And we'll do... Oh, staff door, staff door, staff door, staff door. Yeah, I'm actually putting in that many doors, believe it or not. We're going to assign this as a maintenance center. So that's going to be maintenance center number 12. And we're going to manage maintenance center number 12. And I'm just going to hire a janitor. I'm not going to hire anyone else for this uh, particular job. Uh, we want to go with speed. So you're going to come in at, sure, I'm going to say come in a little later, 10 a.m., my thought here is to get someone who's a little closer to this a uh, pretty good sized space over here. I mean, really, this this whole space is about as big as this is, and I think maybe a little more. So, since everyone's kind of over here with the maintenance center, I figure might not be a bad idea to get someone in place over on this particular side of the complex. That way, uh, they don't have as far to go. I mean, as it is right now, I I am seeing a little bit of you know stuff like that, footprints and things lying around. I mean, granted. Whoever you are, you got to it pretty quickly, and now you're getting to that one. But still, I mean, they're taking care of that stuff right now, but uh, I don't I don't know that it's going to be happening quickly enough over here if I don't do that. Uh, there was a comment on one of the videos, the last one, maybe the previous one, about restrooms and having a staff restroom. There is no such thing, just so you can see. Restroom is a restroom is a restroom. 
And uh, there's the restroom. It's all the way over there. Yeah, it's not a really good location. And I will add another over here. In fact, we might just do a small restroom over here. Why not? We can do that, right? We can do some walls over here. I'm going to actually pause for a moment because I'm going to have to pop some of these items down first because I, I don't know how much space I want to dedicate to this. So if we do a cubicle, we can do something like one, two, three, and then probably do, uh, you need to be on a wall. Perfect. Got it. Here, we'll do one there and one there, and we'll just do nice small little walls just like this. Uh, that's not going to work out really well, is it? All right, whatever. Get, get rid of that door. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. There are enough doors to get in and out of that maintenance center that it's not going to be a big deal. Here, can I, can I get rid of that guy and then put a wall in its place? That would be swell. And then we're going to need another door, so let's go back to um, building objects. Put a door in. We'll just have the door right there and right there. You're, you're not going to work without a wall, are you? My bad. There you go. Come back! Come back! I miss you! Actually, I really don't, but come back! Oh, look at that. I wasn't even paying attention. They're actually... They're working. That one guy is cooking his butt off. Or or her butt off. I'm not really sure which it is. Ooh, look at that. Research project complete. Holy crap. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to bus transport. We are actually down to the final two projects. I forgot about that. I vaguely remember saying, I think we'll finish one of our research project projects. And uh, sure enough, holy crap. We are actually getting close to the point where we can take this office and turn it into something else. Like, another bathroom or something. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just... I'm just happy that this is working out okay. I'm not convinced the restaurant's making any money at all. Um, but I guess we'll see. I mean, it looks like there are constantly people eating. And theoretically, uh, now that people can, you know, go grab a bite to eat and have somewhere to sit and chomp on it, maybe, just maybe they'll stick around a little longer and do a little more shopping. I would I would really like that if they would do that. I want to also pop something else in there. I kind of got a little a little sidetracked. There we go. We're going to need to put a trash can in there. Just just because it feels like there should be a trash can in there. Oh, what do we get? How 500 customers on the site. Nice. I will take that. All right. Let's get rid of that one because we now have a a functional restaurant. I really would love to know if I just screwed up something before or what, but to the best of my knowledge, I had everything configured correctly the first time around, and it just, uh, that old bug just kind of resurfaced, and yet here we are doing it again, and everything looks okay. So that really does make me think I just messed that up, but I don't know. I, I don't see what I did wrong. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on that one. I am going to be really curious here to see how much money this is making today. I suspect it's not doing a whole lot, but, um, I don't know. You never know. Cat, what do you think? She's really annoyed right now, but that's most every day at every time. Today's drink of choice is, uh, Virgil's root beer. No, they don't sponsor me. They're welcome to. All right, let's do the daily store check because I haven't done this since the last time I played and I don't know what everyone's doing. Uh, you're raking in $3,000. Wow. That's a pretty big jump. That's, that's excellent. Uh, office store number four. You're only pulling in $2,500, but that's, again... That's a pretty big jump. Wow, look at that. Uh, store number five, you're actually not doing as well as you have been. I'm not going to complain about that because you're you're one of our money makers, I admit. Uh, store number six, the clothing store. Look at that profit margin, 93%. Boom. That's something I like to see. 
That one's making some money. Uh, store number nine, 91% profit margin. That's pretty excellent. Look at this. It costs almost nothing to, to operate the store. It's fantastic. And yet it's pulling in uh, just under four grand a day. This one hasn't been going very long. This is this is really the last one that we had. I mean, look at that. It's making, let's see, that's uh, what? Two, five, seven, nine sales. <laughs> Nine sales a day, and it's making just under four thousand dollars. What the restaurant do? Twelve hundred. Wow, that's better than I thought it would do. Honestly, it really is. I thought it was not going to do that well. Just out of curiosity here, uh, we're actually meeting the needs just about of uh, the fast food demand. That really surprises me. But look at that. There's still an untapped market here in liquor. And soda. Arcade games are looking pretty good. Candy's good. Ice cream, I'd say that's pretty good. Cookies. Uh, dairy could maybe use a little more. Sliced bread's looking okay. Sauces and seasoning. I don't have any frozen vegetables. How did that happen? I need a big CVS or something so I can do some deodorants and tooth care and cosmetics and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to need to open up a big... Uh, uh, makeup store or something. I think that's what we're going to do. Something along those lines. That'll be our next thing. Uh, there's still an untapped market here in video games, CDs, and DVDs. Maybe we can do like a KB store where we'll do some toys and some uh, DVDs and stuff. I thought I had a bookshelf somewhere. Do I not? Huh. I really thought I did. All right, I guess not. Laptops, uh, we're looking pretty good on laptops and game consoles, all things considered. Tablets, phones. Phones, we could do another phone store, really. Cameras, TV sets are looking okay. There's not much of a market to be made there. Drying machine. Um, I know I have some on display. I have five on display. I guess they're just not in demand right now. Okay. So I think we kind of have some... Wow, oh, all right. Store number four. Um... 115 missed opportunities. Holy crap. I think that means it's time to do an, an even bigger grocery store. Oh, geez. Jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Well, maybe... Maybe that's what we'll do over here, then. Maybe we dedicate this corner to a grocery store. Uh, something I want to do, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do it now. I want to do some uh, road work removal here. Primarily because I want to put in a couple more parking spots for staff. That's probably not going to be enough. Uh, we'll do one more. And then we'll just add some some staff-only parking here. As soon as you get around to that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. Or madam. My bad. So sorry. I was not zoomed in close enough to see. Okay, and then one more. That's, like I said, that's really not going to be enough. I'll end up doing the same thing over here. Can I just do it straight out? Yeah, I didn't think so. I was going to say, I, I thought you have to remove and then... And then... You're done. All right, good. Good. Go home. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll just let... Grumpy guy over here kind of take over. He looks like he has it in control. Good. Perfect. See, that's what I was thinking. You know, we got all these people who are working over here, be it in the, the restaurant or we got our janitor, maybe the jewelry store people. Maybe they want to park over here. You never know. I figured it's not going to hurt to do that. I do lose some parking spots, but I've got a whole crap ton over here that I can do. Uh, maybe uh, I don't want to spend time doing that. I'll, I'll end it with some road construction. I feel like that's enough for right now. Uh, I kind of... Well... Hmm. Wow, store number four is nuts. We gotta take care of that. I said we'd do makeup and all that sort of stuff. Nope, that store has to be taken care of first. So that means... That means we gotta do... We gotta build some... We gotta build a new store. And that's gonna be a big, big store down here. Uh, I suspect it's going to take up most of this space. We're going to do a big old 
honkin grocery store. So let's do a food shelf. Let's just start lining stuff up here. I'm going to have to pause it because otherwise I end up deciding, I don't like that spot. That, that doesn't work for me. Oh, that would be my doorbell. It's probably someone dropping off cat food. I'm actually serious about that. I think I can go one more. We can do three and then four. That'll be fine. Uh, actually, I do need to look. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Technically, if I really wanted... That's interesting. If I really wanted... Here, let's get rid of those guys. Four, one, two, three, four. I think that'll be fine. I could even go one more if I really wanted. Uh, I might just leave that as is. I, I kind of like the look of it like this a little better. And in fact, you know what? Here, just to, just to really screw with people, we'll kind of do some different designs. So this is going to be a lot of food shelves. Nope, you don't go right there. Nope, you don't go right there either. Okay. So if I look at this door right here, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine food shelves in the entire thing. So here's uh, however many that is, eight. So 32 shelves right there. That's basically quadruple the size. And then we're, we're going to need some other ones here. So we'll do something like this. I think we'll just do these maybe a little more normally just to, just to see who this annoys. Someone's going to be annoyed by this. Please do leave a comment if you're annoyed by how I did this. I'd love to know. Because one of you, one of you is going to be annoyed, and I'm going to cackle about it. Let's do some refrigerators. Refrigerators. Perfect. Look at that. That looks great. This is not the most efficient use of space, and you know what? I don't really care. So we're going to need some checkout counters. Um, one and two. So how far do these guys reach? Pretty far. Um, I can do... One... And two, I think that actually fits. Here, let me just make sure. Look at that, perfect. That's one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to need to do kind of something similar over here. We'll do one, two, and then three and four. And I'll probably need to do some more over here. I got to make sure I'm not cutting into my fast food restaurant, so... Looks like lined up with this second one right here is where I can do this. So I can do one, two, three, and I'm not sure how much further I can go. I can go one more. Perfect. And then I can also do something like this. Let's see, where do I have maybe more uh, tables? This will be perfect. Actually, I got I to gotta look. <laughs> uh, checkout counter, which way are you going? So you are on... The one to the right. So I want to build directly in front of this guy. So this is going to be used for fresh foods and stuff. So one, two, three, four. Cat, thank you very much for whatever you just did there. I think you turned off the UI. Two, three, four. And we'll do one, two. I'm going to not put that one there. And I'm not going to put that one there. Perfect. And uh, there you go. That still leaves a little room over here. And still leaves some more room over here for something else. Maybe I'll put walls up. Probably not. But you never know. And on that note, I think I might queue up some more road work. <laughs> but not until they're done with all of this stuff. So we're going to have to let them finish all of this and then... Next episode is going to be a nightmare of trying to figure out what I want to sell. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. But I'll catch you on that one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.